It's a hopeless task, and they know it. They dig at the mudslide with spades or their bare hands, but officials have already given up hope of finding survivors. In this remote corner of Afghanistan, there isn't much heavy equipment available and little prospect of getting more to the area. It's spring, and melting snow and heavy rain have combined to create a natural disaster. The side of a mountain gave way after heavy rain, and in the middle of the morning, a mudslide buried around 300 family homes. We started our rescue effort right after the landslide and used everything possible. Until now, we have only managed to find one woman's body and took two more injured people from the area. So food and water has been distributed to those who survived. According to the United Nations, 4,000 people have either lost their homes or had to abandon them because of the risk of more landslides. Around 100 people were injured. This man said they managed to remove around a dozen bodies and has appealed for more help from the government. The effort has been to get a whole lot of assistance in shelter for the displaced people, uh, uh, medical support, uh, non-food items, uh, just the very basics of survival out in, in bad weather conditions uh, until we can get longer-term solutions to the people there. But it's unlikely efforts will be made to recover most of those who died. What was once a village will simply be designated as a mass grave. Ian Woods, Sky News.